Hello and welcome to this first video of the lesson, Applications of Life Insurance. Life insurance does not merely seek to protect individuals from premature death. It has other applications as well. It can be applied to the creation of trust with resultant insurance benefits for creating a policy covering key personnel of industries and also for redeeming mortgages. So let us begin by understanding the Married Women's Property Act in detail. Let us take a look at its overview and whom it benefits. Section 6 of the Married Women's Property Act 1874 provides for security of benefits under a life insurance policy to wife and children. It also provides for creation of trust. It lays down that a policy of insurance affected by any married man on his own life and expressed on the face of it to be for the benefit of his wife or of his wife and children or any of them shall ensure and be deemed to be a trust for the benefit of his wife or of his wife and children or any of them according to the interest so expressed and shall not so long any object of the trust remains be subject to the control of the husband or to his creditors or form part of his estate. Here we will learn about some of the features of Married Women's Protection Act. First, each policy will remain a separate trust. Either the wife or child over 18 years of age can be a trustee. Second, policy shall be beyond the control of court attachments, creditors and even the life assured. Third, the claim money shall be paid to the trustees. Fourth, policy cannot be surrendered. Neither the nomination nor the assignment is allowed. And lastly, if the policyholder does not appoint a special trustee to receive and administer the benefits under the policy, the sum secured under the policy becomes payable to the official trustee of the state. Now let us discuss the benefits of Married Women's Property Act. First, the trust is set up under an irrevocable, non-amendable trust deed and can hold one or more insurance policies. Second, by creating a trust to hold the insurance policies, the policyholder gives up his rights under the policy and upon the death of the life insured. Third, the trustee invests the insurance proceeds and administers the trust for one or more beneficiaries. Creating a trust ensures that the policy proceeds are invested wisely during the minority of the beneficiary. And lastly, it also secures the benefits against future creditors. Thank you. In this next video of the lesson, Applications of Life Insurance, we will learn about various aspects of Keeman Insurance Act. Here we will cover the features of Keeman Insurance Act and will understand who can be a Keeman. Also, we will get to know about insurable losses covered. Keeman Insurance basically is an insurance policy taken out by a business to compensate that Keeman Insurance basically is an insurance policy taken out by a business to compensate that business for financial losses that would arise from the death or extended incapacity of an important member of the business. The key features of the policy are First, the policy's term does not extend beyond the period of the key person's usefulness to the business. Second, it is usually owned by the business and the aim is to compensate the business for losses incurred with the loss of a key income generator and facilitate business continuity. Third, a term insurance policy where the sum assured is linked to the profitability of the company rather than the key person's own income. The premium is paid by the company. Fourth, Keeman Insurance does not indemnify the actual losses incurred but compensates with a fixed monetary sum as specified on the insurance policy. And lastly, the death benefit in Keeman Insurance is taxed as income. The death now question arises that who can be a Keeman? And the answer is that 
A key person can be anyone directly associated with the business whose loss can cause financial strain to the business. For example, the person could be a director of the company, a partner, a key salesperson, key project manager, or someone with specific skills or knowledge which is especially valuable to the company. Finally, let us understand what kind of losses are insured in Keeman Insurance. First is the losses related to the extended period when a key person is unable to work to provide temporary personnel and if necessary, unable to finance the recruitment and training of a replacement. Second is the insurance to protect profits. For example, offsetting lost income from lost sales, losses resulting from the delay or cancellation of any business project that the key person was involved in, loss of opportunity to expand, and loss of specialized skills or knowledge. Thank you. In this last video of the lesson, Applications of Life Insurance, we will learn about various aspects of Mortgage Redemption Insurance Act. It is an insurance policy that provides financial protection for home loan borrowers. It can also be called as a loan protector policy. Some of its key features are First, it is a decreasing term life insurance policy. Second, it helps mortgager to repay the balance on a mortgage loan if he or she dies before its full repayment. Third, this plan is suitable for elderly people whose dependents may need assistance in clearing their debts. Fourth, the policy bears on surrender value or maturity benefits. And lastly, the insurance cover under this policy decreases each year unlike a term insurance policy where insurance cover is constant during the policy period. Here is a quick look at the topics covered in this chapter. Thank you.